Mindanao, a land of unparalleled beauty and bounty. The fertile plains, verdant mountains, and its rich blue seas is the undisputed country's food basket. The country's second largest island is home to different indigenous Lumats, the Moros, and Christians. However, despite its natural riches, the region is mired in poverty and neglect. Four out of the five poorest provinces in the country are found in Mindanao. Five of the Mindanao region's registered poverty incidence of 39%, higher than the national average of 26.3%. Mindanao, a region that has been scarred by decades of armed conflict, years and years of battles have left affected communities in dire conditions. Despite remarkable inroads in peace building between the largest secessionist groups, peace has been elusive in Mindanao. The problem in Mindanao, or in Marawi for that matter, is a complex of a resource-based conflict, an identity, and as well as ideological-based conflict. Identity-based conflict, it's a question of the, the right of the self, the right to self-determination of one tribe. The Bangsamoro are being called by other name, by the majority, which for them, they are Bangsamoro, they are not Filipino, so that's precisely a question of identity. Maranao, for that matter, are name derived from the lake. They are the people of the lake. Yeah, they call it Maranao. So remove them from Marawi and then somehow it's also removing their identity. It's also a question of resource-based conflict. There's also monopoly of, of resources. A few clan and a few elite just control the big huge of resources. So there's a problem between accessing controlling and utilization. So meaning it's structural. And then now we have the ideology base. Ideology base because there's one ideology now challenging the status quo. They want to establish a caliphate. They want to sta establish another state, an Islamic state coming from your existing status quo via a terroristic act. Para matapos na yung mga gera, kasi kawawa yung mga mahirap tulad namin. Mahirap mabuhay kung may gera, paano magkapagrabaho yung asawa? Kasi hindi makapaghanap buhay yung asawa. Isa lang yung iba kasi farmer, tapos doon pa banda nagpuputukan. Uh, peace can be started within ourselves, especially during at home. And uh, pwede din natin yan makita sa ating mga leaders. Peace building in Mindanao has been a continued and sustained effort. Peace builders are constantly working in the communities trying to build a foundation of development and harmony. VSO is the world's leading independent international development organization consisting of volunteers working in different countries in a bid to fight poverty. VSO Philippines has been existing in the country in the 1960s and one of its main programs in Mindanao is the Resilience for Peace and Social Cohesion program. VSO has successfully addressed some issues in the ground because it is closely working with its partners. Our program is also supporting um, the youth but still on peace building. Yeah, so youth, women, and, well, other sectors as well. Focusing on resilience in the context of peace and social cohesion, but also in terms of climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. Lanao Aquatic and Marine Fisheries Center for Community Development, or LAFCON, serves the urban fisher folks, rural poor, and other marginalized community groups, especially women. Its programs have successfully improved the relations between Moro and Christians, who jointly patrol and manage the marine sanctuary. We make the strategy for apostolic management to somehow uh, an activity where people have a dialogue, where people will gather together to develop the resources and at the same time develop their own community. The need for an 
a sustaining advocacy is uh, actually need to be continued. Otherwise, this uh, development that they are experiencing now will actually be will be at stake. Itudloan nato sila unsa on pagka pagkat on pagkuha pagprotektar pagkonserbar ni ining mga buhi laman sa kadagatan. As sa una sa wala pa ang BSO na abot diri sa East Indy kami mahadlok jud ni sa mga Muslim pero karon nga naa ang BSO dili na mi mahadlok kay naghayusa pud mi sa pag sa mga seminar nga ilang ihatag o didto mi naghayusa kabahin sa mga tradisyon sa Muslim o Christian ina nila ang, ang mga bantay dagat ako pa problema rin eh kaya mga bantay dagat Napa sila dagang mga uh, mga kahimanan ng wala nila sama sa ispat sa kayan kini niya ilahang mga teleskop kung mga kagamitan sa dagat di niya ilahang mga pambot na may pambot sa pamana pero dili igo ikagokod sa mga bayulitor tungod kay ang makinane ni mga hinay lang Maranao People Development Center Incorporated or Maradeka is an NGO implementing a peace building and governance program that promotes good governance advocacy, women empowerment, and supports the rights of the Bangsamoro by conducting workshops to identify the parents and teachers' role in preventing the youth from being recruited into terrorism activities. Kabataan, marinig din kung ano yung gusto nila sa pag-rehab, pag-develop sa kanila. Youth ngayon, sila yung mas agresib. Pakigdaid Incorporated is a grassroots peace-building organization that promotes and facilitates transformation, peace advocacy, interfaith dialogue, and cultural sensitivity for over 15 years. Interfaith Council for Peace in Mindanao is a daughter um, organization of the Pakigdaid Incorporated, composed of religious leaders from different religions. Uh, we allow every reli religion to host the church and masjid visitation to present their teachings, their doctrines. And then after the presentation, we also allow the people to ask questions. And whatever the answer of the host, that's the answer. If we don't allow uh, this church and masjid visitation, as the avenue for debate, for argument. United Youth of the Philippines, Women, or UNIFIL, combats gender-based violence, promotes sexual and reproductive health, peace building, and women's leadership. Noon hindi po nakikita ang kahalaga ng isang babae kasi ang alam natin sa bahay lang po sila. So ngayon, unti-unti na natin nalalaman ang, ka ang uh, significance ng kababaihan sa community. Um, Women are also into peace building. Uh, since the peace process started, Unifil Women started its participation uh, in the peace process. Uh, we started with the communities. In order for them to participate in the peace process, uh, we started organizing them and formed them into a monitors. In the absence of men sa bahay, ang women po yung uh, nagiging tatay at nagiging nanay sa kanilang mga anak. VSO volunteers and partners take time to build long-term relationships to develop trust and knowledge. Indeed, peace in Mindanao can be achieved with the help of people like you and I. You can help our peace builders by volunteering to help support initiatives in bringing peace to the region. In this beautiful island, peace is and will never be an elusive dream. Partner with us, and together, we will make a difference. VSO, sharing skills, changing lives.